Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure. We sold some stuff. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales and estate sales. Every now and then I go into a thrift store and I find something I can buy. And then I sell it again online. Mostly I do that on eBay. I, you know, anybody that sells on eBay knows that over the last four months in particular, uh, things have been very up and down on the platform. And uh, some folks have had a lot of down. I haven't really bottomed out. You know, we've had some slow days but it always tends to rebound. And here in the last couple of days, things have been pretty solid. I'm really happy with how sales have gone and they've really sort of been buoyed. They've been highlighted by the two most recent big purchases that I made, a, a big bulk purchase. We bought almost 100 Coca-Cola girl figurines. Some more of those have sold. And we also made a huge G.I. Joe purchase. We had a, a, a thrift haul, I guess, of that sort of an unboxing and, and looked at all the stuff that I picked up there just the other day. Uh, more of that is coming to a whatnot auction here in about a week and a half. But the other stuff I'm slowly working my way through. And the things that I'm listing on eBay so far are selling. So let's take a quick look at what it is that I sold over the last three days. Quick packing day, not that many going out, but actually some very nice sales in here. So it does balance out, I guess, a little bit. Here, Mary Kay. We haven't sold Mary Kay for a long time. I think I only have one random one left. This is a Sparkling Rose. So I don't know. I think it's, uh, I think it's lipstick. Yeah, it's a lipstick. And it sold for $15.79 plus shipping. We've got a vintage Barbie heading on out. This is Walk Lively Barbie, and she does still work when you move her arms, her legs move, and her head kind of goes side to side. This is a, a pretty nice one. I think I sent an offer out that was accepted. $54.72 plus shipping for that. We've got a duck headed out cool Santa Claus duck and this actually headed to a viewer it's going to Jeff the cowboy picker he's in uh, I think Jeff you said Utah and so thanks very much for stopping in and for picking this up he said it's going to be for a holiday project that he does he does some reselling to then fund uh, the North Pole initiative where he helps out needy families over the holidays so man I really appreciate that and uh, we'll we'll keep an eye out. He said uh, he was looking for some cowboy ducks. And anytime I get them, they sell pretty quickly. So I'll keep an eye out, and I'll let you know the next time that one of those shows up. We've got uh, here a G.I. Joe, vintage G.I. Joe video uh, here. You maybe saw it just the other day. Uh, put together a video of how I source these. I'll, I'll try to put a link up top. But some really cool Joe pieces. I'm listing a lot of the vehicles on eBay slowly as I get in there and try to find all the parts and pieces because they're all scattered around. Here's the blades for the top. Got a little booklet. And uh, this, it comes with the box as well. It's uh, the Dreadnought Swamp Fire. And it's complete. So we've got the complete vehicle plus paperwork and the box. And that, I picked up, I think, five watchers in the first day and a half or so of that thing being listed. I got an offer and I countered and they accepted that. So the Swamp Fire sold for $55 plus shipping. And then we do have another G.I. Joe piece headed out. Most of the figures are going to whatnot. But this guy, for whatever reason, I did go ahead and list him to eBay. It was one of the first I pulled out and then I decided, you know what, I'm not going to spend the time listing all of them on eBay. We're going to whatnot them. So there'll be an auction for all the vintage Joe figures coming up. But this is an Astro Viper. He's complete and he's got the original card. And it's actually in pretty, you know, you can see where it's pulled the paper, but it's in pretty good shape. So this one sold like same thing really within about a day of me listing it. The Astro Viper from 1988 selling for $47.99 plus shipping. And then a low dollar 
Xbox game. Still worth listing because they're so easy to list. I sent out an offer on it that was accepted for Spider-Man. $4.74 plus shipping. Pretty easy packing day today, so happy with that for sure. We've got a couple of shirts going out. Here we've got a t-shirt, the North Dakota Fighting Sioux, and that's what you want to look for when you're looking for UND stuff. You want the Fighting Sioux name and the logo. They got rid of that here recently, and there's a massive fan base for it. If you can find these older Fighting Sioux things, it's worth picking up. This I took an offer of 20 bucks plus shipping for just a basic green t-shirt. Here we've got a Nike, I know, I'm talking about basic, it's just blue. It's a Nike golf polo. And this is one that I sold once before and they wanted to return it saying that uh, it had a horrible smell and they washed it like three times. They couldn't get it out. They threw it away. They wanted their money back. So I said, well, you know what? If you send it back, then we can work on a refund. And they said, oh, okay, thanks. So they did not throw it away. And they mailed it back. And, of course, it has zero smell whatsoever. So I just relisted it. And it sold again. Nine bucks. Plus shipping for that one. Here we've got one of our vintage pins. I'll turn it around here. There we go. Skull Copenhagen pin. Happy days there on the bottom. And I've got a quantity listing of these. They don't sell super often, but when they do, it's a nice little payday. $15.79 for that. Here we've got some of our G.I. Joe stuff going out. The Command Center. I did not have... A, it was not complete enough to try to sell it as a set, but certainly had the bits and pieces to part off. And, you know, this is the type of stuff that got lost. And so one buyer came in and picked up three of the things that I listed the day that I listed them, in fact. And so we made a deal on all of them. He made offers on all three for a bulk deal. We've got the uh, command center antenna in there, the command center flag, which is pretty rough, as you can see. It's not in great shape. And then we've got, this is like the, the console for the command center with the cover. This flips down like that. Uh, you could, I could, probably could have sold those two parts separately. But uh, So all three pieces of the command center are going out for a total of $24.25 plus shipping. Here we've got one of the lenses that we picked up in that thrift haul the other day, the Pentax lens. And he's right there, very clean. I either paid four or five dollars for this one. I can't remember which one was which, but they were both definitely worth picking up. This thing sold in a matter of days, $47.99 plus shipping for that. This came on an offer that I got and then I countered back and they accepted it. Uh, this is, I'm trying to see if the figure is, the figure is not even shown on the box. So we'll have to take her out. One second. So there she is. It's Glenda. And the very, very nice thing about this is I've got the styrofoam that originally came with it. And so it's going to make it much easier to ship it. I don't have to worry about that thing getting banged up at all. So Glenda, the good witch, sold for 24 bucks plus shipping. We've got a hat going out. Bud, king of beers. It's got the bow tie logo on there. Cool old made in the USA hat. And this I accepted an offer of $11 plus shipping. And then back here, I put together one more lot of the remaining Halo mystery figures. There's 20 of them in here. And it's just one of the little mystery bags. Mega Constructs Halo. Uh, 20 of them all put together. And they sold for $63.36 free shipping. All right, we've got one more day. You don't want to miss the Friday sales coming up here, guys, but cutting in because I, I promised a winner. And so what we're going to do is take a look at who is going to win one month free of, uh, I think it's even the top tier 
of My Reseller Genie Services. Uh, My Reseller Genie is fantastic. They continue to make improvements to the program. An accountant and a reseller came together and created something for us to help us keep our books, help us track our expenses. It's got bar graphs and pie graphs and charts and numbers. All of you number people are gonna love this thing. So let's take a look at who won the free month. Okay, here we are. There's the link to the video. All you had to do is mention the word genie in your comment to get a chance to win one free month of my reseller genie. We're gonna filter and include replies. It looks like they've now added a premium to sort by words or hashtags. So we're gonna run this thing, I guess the first one that comes up with the word genie in it is our winner. Let's get the comments. There's 56 unique comments on there. And so let's select a winner. Again, the first one that it picks with the word genie. And that's the first one. GT Torino 69. Genie, thanks, Troy. Keep up the thrifting. We're definitely going to keep up the thrifting. And you have won a free month. So all you have to do, GT Torino 69 is get in touch with me. Send me a message on Instagram or on email. Both of those are in the video description. And I will tell you how to go about picking up your free month. So get a hold of me by next Friday, or we're going to pick another one. GT Torino 69. Thanks so much. Time now to get back to what's sold. Let's take a look at Friday sales. Because we've got some good sales in here and some stars of the day the ladies of coke and uh, all of these actually going to the same buyer uh, they were trying to work out a deal to get uh, really probably three times this many but we just couldn't come to an agreement on on price they wanted you know 50 and 60 percent off to get that many and i'm not doing a fire sale on these things yet you know I, i'm okay with them hanging out for a bit and getting a little bit more value out of them maybe next year We'll do that to clear some space, but right now I'm not. And so uh, we, we cut some of them off the list and managed to come to an agreement on this group. And so all of these total $168 plus shipping. We've got Graceful Moments with Coca-Cola. We'll run through. Let's move it over here and we'll show you all of them. Got like the flapper style. Here we got... Uh, fashionably refreshing these are some of my favorites actually the i think i've said it before them leaning on the various coke machines this is the for the 1940s uh like beauties of the 1940s i think is this particular collection so we'll add another one to that we've sold several of them there's two of them in this batch this is one of the jazz delightful blues from jazzing it up that one's going to be interesting to pack. Both arms are out. So that's going to be that's going to be a challenge. I've only had one break in transit so far out of all that we've shipped. So I'm pretty happy with that actually as fragile as they are. Picture perfect with the parasol. We got her. She is radiant beauty. And we've got this one is a satisfying timeout with Coca-Cola. And one more of our 1940s girls leaning on the cold case there. You can see the Coke inside. Very cool. Timeless tradition. There it is. Yeah, beauties of the 1940s collection. So all of those headed out, like I said, $168 plus shipping. Shipping was like $33, I think, something like that. So they're about $200 only, and all of them had the COA as well. So happy with that, other than just a lot of packing now in my future. Here we've got, he looks a little bit like an Ankylosaurus, but he's not. The mouth, the head is different. I'm honestly, I can't remember what this one is called. 
He's, he's, he's not the Ankylosaurus, but he is a relative. He's one of the armored dinosaurs. And I like selling these little guys. They don't often sell for a ton, but this one's not bad. $7.98, I think, plus shipping. Good deal on that guy. Back here, a pair of Chucks. And now most Chucks, you're not going to get this much. But, I mean, these bright neon color. It's got the black badge on there. They're very, very clean shoes. And so I priced these up and waited all around. And uh, I think I sent an offer out on these to a watcher that was accepted. So the Chucks have sold $56.96 plus shipping. Thrilled with that. Thrilled with this as well. But let's do this first. I don't want to knock it off the table. Really neat old picture. I like selling old pictures, old cabinet cards, that sort of thing. A little girl showing off her doll. I think it's pretty cool. And the old picture sold for $9.98 plus shipping. And then another G.I. Joe. We brought two to eBay, two of the figures. And the rest are going on whatnot. We've actually scheduled the auction it is uh, not this coming Sunday. It's next Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. So if you're into the G.I. Joe, go check that one out and uh, bookmark the show. If you've not signed up for Whatnot, there's a link. You can do it underneath, a link in the description as well. So go check out the show. There's a lot of cool stuff. It's all preloaded, so you can check out what characters we have in there. And there's a couple other, like, paper items in the show as well. But we did put two on eBay. Both of them sold very quickly. This is hit and run. He's complete, and uh, it's not new. It's just uh, they kept the card, and they kept the bubble. And so that's very good because people will reseal these and put them in their display. So it's great when you find them with the bubble on there. And this guy sold for 80 bucks plus shipping. So hit and run headed out for 80 bucks. Very happy with him. We've got back here some more yarn. This is, uh, I believe it was pink lemonade. It's red heart, baby clouds. is very, I don't know, puffy yarn. I don't know yarn, but uh, I had it listed at like $9.98. Got a watcher, sent out an offer at nine plus shipping, and they took it. Very easy to ship that out too. Here we've got a viewer sale. I won't fold it out because it's large. Unfortunately, it's got a bend across there, but when you fold it out for the... Uh, the map, the poster inside, you don't see that. It's not too bad. You just see it on the black there. But Live the Adventure, Assignment 1, Invade Cobra Island. It's a really cool poster. Look, you can see it here on the card. It sold for $6.98 plus shipping, and it went to our friend Richard. Richard came in and bought a G.I. Joe vehicle the other day as well, and I didn't realize that he had done that. So, man, I appreciate that. That's very cool of you. Thank you for picking that up. I know he's a G.I. Joe fan. And then we've got another viewer sale here. We've got a Star Wars Clone Wars, or Attack of the Clones. It was the Clone Wars, but Attack of the Clones, the movie. we got uh, Sacy Tin, the Jedi Master. And so this is headed out along with a Star Wars mug. This is really cool. That's the poster uh, from the original, or a poster from the original. And then it's got kind of like the, the die, I don't want to say die cut. I don't know if that's what you call that, but it's a cool shape on the mug there. It's a very heavy mug. So this is going out as well, along with the little monster duck. So portion of the duck purchase, of course, going to the Gary Sinise Foundation. But all three of those are going to a fellow Montana reseller they're going to sherry who said she was glad to find the channel and see another reseller in montana she knows all too well about having to deal with winters and sourcing up here and uh, she she definitely deals with winters uh sherry's over in browning montana but uh picked up the uh the clones figure 7.99 and the mug 15.79 so sherry thank you so much for those purchases not too shabby, right? I, I'm really happy with that. And it just, I, I think, goes to show that when you have a chance to buy a collection like that, if there's a base for it, don't just go and buy somebody's Q-tip collection. You, you got to buy something that has some value and that has some interest in it. 
but when you buy a big group of things, it very often can result in some very good sales and a lot of people coming in and picking up multiples, you know, not just buying one thing, but buying multiple things, or in the case of like the GI Joe, as I'm slowly listing it, keep coming back and looking at what else have they listed, right? So uh, keep your eyes open for, for collections. That's a good question actually to ask at garage sales. Don't just, hey, do you have any video games? That's an easy one, right? Uh, ask for the few things that you look for and then say, hey, or do you have any other collections that you're maybe wanting to thin out or get rid of? A lot of times people don't think about putting that out at a garage sale. They either, it just doesn't enter their mind or they think, ah, you know, that's a lot of hassle or, you know, who's gonna be interested in buying all of whatever it is, right? All of this. Who knows? You might have somebody go, yeah, I've got a bunch of these Warhammer figurine things. I don't know if you know about that. You, you might, who knows, right? You, you never know what people collect. And when you ask the question, it might make them go, yeah, actually, why, why don't you come and take a look at this? I don't hear many people asking that. That's a good one to add as we come up on our summer garage sales is, do you have any collections? Put that in your tool belt. In a benefit of reselling, it is coming up on 11 o'clock in the morning here as I'm recording this, and I am headed to Mountain Kids Performance. She's got a performance at the high school across town. It's not at her high school, uh, I, so I've got to get to the one across town here. Ooh, got a pothole. Um, she is in a, a band, I guess it's not really a concert, it's the district festival. So they go and they play in front of judges and then the judges give them different grades and stuff like that. And I, I think it's a competition against other schools. I'm not, I'm not exactly positive of how it works out. All I know is the kids playing music. And if I was working a regular job, I would not be able to go to this right now. And so a benefit, of reselling guys it opens up your schedule i get to go and watch my kid perform which i'm very excited about so i'm gonna let you get going i gotta get up here and find a parking spot and get in before this thing starts and i'll see you next time